Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're looking at Clean Master. Spring is around the corner, which means it's time to do a little spring cleaning. Of course, uh, as we all say every year, we need to do spring cleaning all the time. And Clean Master helps you do that, helps you do it efficiently and quick. Uh, that's what I really like. The app itself looks is very simple, uh, and it looks good with the Holo design. So uh, features that I love in an app. There really isn't a lot to do and a lot to learn. It's just uh, when you first install it, uh, you can see quite quickly uh, exactly how to operate it. Now, um, you can see right away it tells you uh, if you have an SD card, which I don't, it's device storage or the same. Uh, so, it tells you how much space you have uh, left on your device. Just uh, obviously this is going to help you with storage, but uh, by doing some things, some other things, it would also help with the performance of your phone. Now the main guts of it here is in the history, and that's where the cache is all loaded here to show you how much cache each app uh, is saving on your device. That is uh, recurring files uh, that each app creates and accumulates over time. Now this phone is a, it's a Droid DNA. It's about, I don't know, three to four months old and I've got about 122 uh, megabytes there. It's a lot. So um, most of the apps here will be classified as system cache which is already checked and you can go down and there's going to be some other apps listed uh, down below here uh, and there's also one like see for example maps it's saying advice to keep and doesn't uncheck it so automatically it's checking all the apps um, and of course all these are in, as part of the system uh, that you should go ahead and delete you should do this maybe once a week anyway so I, I'm so all you have to do is just go ahead and tap clean and it will go ahead and do it doesn't take too long at all and there you go I freed up that space and I left the, the maps now you can also either tap uh, residual file files or flick over uh, and uh, you can look at all your files that you have on your device as far as music, videos, documents or whatever um, and of course it's reminding you that um, you know there's um, you know can be a large space um, uh, Big files may be valuable to you, that's what it's saying there. So uh, obviously that's important to know. Uh, you don't want to just go ahead and delete stuff. I have mostly, whoops, I have mostly videos here and some podcasts. But, um, you know, you can go ahead and check whatever ones you want and then click clean and you're done. So now we go back to the main area here and we go to privacy. Privacy will let you delete your SMS, MS, MMS text messages here, your call logs, and your search history. Now, I'm not going to tap on this because it's going to show a bunch of phone numbers, and I don't want to get into having to hide them. But if you tap on that, you will see all your text messages by contact, how many. And you can delete either all the text messages by the contact or all of them, all the text messages on your phone. And the same with the call logs. Um, one thing I did talk to developers about I'd like to see is the ability to delete only messages older than a certain amount of days like let's say 30 days that way you can keep uh, your most current messages that's something that they may add you can also go in the search history here and look at each individual app that has search history check them off and clean them up clean them if you would like to uh, to free up more space um, if you notice, Chrome isn't on here. I do have Chrome on this device, but Chrome isn't on here. So uh, that's something that they're working on as well. It's a little bit of a bug. Now, you also list the apps down here as well that have password settings, so you're aware of that these apps do save passwords. If you don't use them anymore, maybe you want to get rid of them or whatever. Down here, if you do tap on any of these, you're taken to the Play Store uh, app info page, which is stock in Android, and you and it's telling you to go ahead and and tap clear data, which will remove those those items that we discussed, but it'll also remove your passwords and account data as well. So let's moving on to we'll go to the uh, tasks. Now tasks is somewhat it's not like a task manager. It's the ability to be able to stop tasks um, and check off the ones you want. I'm not big in the task um, managers. This isn't a manager where it works on its own and supersedes what Android already does. That's a good thing. But 
you can go in and check a bunch of apps at the same time and clean them, which makes it a little more efficient, but it's not something I'm ut utilizing much at all. Um, I just use the very rare, rare situation I use, um, you know, the feature that's built in into this particular phone. It's uh, in Sense 4 Plus, uh, their task killer, and of course all the Android UIs do have them. The last item is the App Manager, uh, which lets you um, uninstall any apps. Now, again, this is something that's built into Android and very easy to do. Also, some of the manufacturer skins make them easy. But this is kind of cool in that if you want to really go through and clean up a lot of apps, say you got a hundred or so apps and you haven't cleaned up any in a while, you can go through and look at all your apps and check off you can quickly check off the ones that you don't want anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck those. <laughs> don't do anything by mistake. You can quickly uncheck or check those and then, you know, uninstall them in one swoop, which is very nice and easy and efficient. The other thing you can do, and it, I haven't really used it too much, is you can um, back up, well these are all actual um, APK files there, uh, but you can also quick click, uh, tap on any of these and hit backup, and you will back up the APKs. Now, you're not going to back up the app data, even if you're rooted. I know if you're rooted, you can do that. You'll have to use another app for that. But the bottom line is, I love Clean Master here. This is, uh, reminds me of CC Cleaner for uh, Windows. It's very easy to use. It looks good. It's simple. And uh, it'll help keeping, keep your phone as, uh, as efficient as possible as far as storage and memory and performance. And that's exactly what you want. And I totally recommend it. It's free, so you can't go wrong. Give it a shot get some spring cleaning in so uh, check it out in the Play Store and uh, let us know what you think thanks for watching this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android